was looking for properties over here. He wanted to build and he has a boat already. He has a sailboat, so he wants to stay in the sailboat area, which would be everything down here. This is where he's looking. He made an offer on a property over here, but of course it got accepted. I mean, it didn't get accepted because there were a lot of cash buyers and he hasn't sold his house yet. It's closing soon though, and he should have the money soon. Then we made an offer on this one, which is a home and a lot. So they like that idea of a home and a lot. Then they could build over there. But then that offer did not get accepted. They accepted a cash offer. So now what I'd like to do is find the owners of these lots and mail them something. I'm going to mail them a letter. Or we're going to mail them a letter. And I'll show you how to find that property. So that property was on Ashcroft. So I'm going to do... Um, search records this is ccappraiser.com search property records okay so i know that it was ashcroft that he was looking at a s c h -S -R -O -F -T. i think that's how you spell it ah nope so let me go back here and my huh, didn't smell it right so it's a s c or a s h c r o f t it was ashcroft circle but I got to put it in the right spot. A S H C R O F T. I'm going to do a search and it's going to bring up Ashcroft. So I just want to pick one of these. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm just wanting to pull up the map. So here's view map. Oh, I just thought of another thing we could do, which is way better, way easier actually. Here's view map, but I'll show you how you can find out who owns which property. So I do continue and then I can zoom out and from here, if you wanted to know who owned, let's get one on the water just for the heck of it, who owned lot 10 right here. You could do information, which is the I right there. See right there on the right hand side, upper right hand. Then we're going to go click on that lot on, on the number 10 and we're going to see who owns it. So it shows us right there the owner's name. Well, just curious to see if maybe they might own that one too. David Jenkins. And no, it's a different owner. How about this? I just want to see if, the, if they own two lots. That would be really cool. Nope. Okay, so now we want to know who the owner is for this lot because we're going to send them a mailer. So we click on this for that information. And it's going to pull up this information. The property location's right here. And the owner's address is here. The owner lives in Venice. So you can see also that they, when they bought it. So they bought it in 2004. And uh, they bought it for $121,000. Ooh, that's kind of high. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> so we... Here's the, so we could do that. Here's another way we could do it real quick. I think this might work even better, but then we have to know um, the legal description of the area. And I'm not sure if we can circle it. I, I think there's an easier way, maybe even through the MLS. But let's go grab the legal. And we'll say, okay, 79. But we got to make sure they're sailboat waterfront lots. So I'm going to say copy. I'm going to go back to CC Appraisers website right here. I'm going to go back to my search. And instead of searching by street, I'm going to search by legal address. But I'm not putting the whole legal. I'll just put part of it. So we could run a search and see how many come up. But let's first see we want vacant residential. So all the vacant residential land in that section right there. We'll see how many come up. We probably need to narrow it down more, which I'm sure we do. We could say print mailing labels, which is going to be a lot, but I'm not going to do it. Um, and this is what it looks like. Then we could do our mailers, but this is way too many. So we're going to have to cut it down unless you want to send out 130 mailers, which I guess isn't that much if you're making a couple thousand off of it. So that might be an idea. But a lot of these people may be the same owners too. So, and then also they might be on, not on the water. Let me go back and see if we can figure out 
Which ones are on the water? Um, nope, I can't. So I think, I guess the best way to do it would be go back to our search, pull up one of these, and then just get into the map, the GIS map, view map, and then again, continue, and then we can pan around so we can go this way, that way, you know, zoom out. But what we can do is find some vacant property and pull it up. And we also want to make sure it's not listed before we do send something. So here's one right here. That would be perfect. That's right next to the one we made an offer on before. This would be really cool. That one actually would be awesome. So I'm going to push number six. We're going to find out who owns it. And I'm just curious, is, is this the same owner? Nope. How about that one? Nope. Okay, so this one right here would be a really good one for us to mail. So right there is their information. Oh, Moorhaven. Oh, they do live on Moorhaven. Wait a minute. So that's their mailing address. Wait a minute. So maybe they do own that vacant property. Wait a minute here. Let me go back to that. Let me see, is that two parcels? This is the deed. We can look at that. Nope, it's one lot, lot six, Moorhaven. But it was vacant. I don't, you can't mail to a vacant lot. I don't understand that. So that doesn't make any sense. So let's go back there to that map. That's vacant. And that one is not the same. And you can't win it. Nine. No. Okay, let's try one more time. I'm going to check that again. This mailing address, Moorhaven Court. That's weird. Okay, so what I'll probably do is, is I'm going to just copy the owner. And then I'm going to run a search on just their name and see if maybe they have another mailing address that's not on a vacant piece of property because they're not going to get their mail if it's there. So let's go back and we're going to search just their name. Hopefully there's not a lot of them. Ooh, I should have figured out what the first name was before I did that. Let me go back here. What did we say? John and Florence, Florencio. So let's see if there's a John and Florencio. Next. John and Florencio right there, but that's Moorhaven. Next. Isn't that weird? Okay, so anyway, it usually works. I've never seen it have the mailing address as the vacant lot. Um, so, hmm. anyway, I'll send this to you. If you could figure out a way to do a mass search and then we could do all the labels at once, that would be great too. And it might be easy to see a parcel that's together, maybe too. Let's check this one. It looks like this is probably the owner for that one. So let's do information and click. Okay, that's Gina Fidero or Fidero, whatever. Okay, nope, it's not, but boy, they are really on top of that property. Anyway, that's done. So then when you click here, it should give you a different mailing address because the property location and the mailing address are usually different unless it's a homesteaded property that they actually live in. So there it is. Okay, I hope this helps you. And then if we can collect a bunch of them, you know, just remember that let me back out of here and show you what I mean. We want to be not above O'Hara because then you're not going to have the sailboat waterfront. So I'm looking right here. And also we could look here too, but it's a little further out because you got to go through and go this way and then go out the Ackerman Waterway to get over there to Charlotte Harbor. And they are talking about opening this up over here to go to, um, I think it's called Alligator Creek or something, to go out to the Mayaka River, but they haven't done that yet. So anyway, we just want to stay in that area. I hope this helps you. All right, talk to you later. Bye.